Good morning. You're watching PLZ Soccer's Scottish Morning News Bulletin on Friday, live here from Celtic Park as we react to the news that Chief Executive Peter Lowell is standing down from his role after nearly 18 years in charge. He'll be replaced by Scottish Rugby's Dominic Mackay. Now, in a statement earlier today, Lowell said it was natural that the club will be going through a, a transition period at the end of this season. But he said he expressed regret for the way the campaign has gone. No one at the club would have wanted to see this happen. Now, of course, Celtic are 23 points behind league leaders Rangers and all realistic hopes of winning that record-breaking 10th title in a row are almost certainly out of the window. Uh, the majority shareholder, Dermot Desmond, put a statement out as well. He said that he tried to persuade Law to reverse his decision, but that ultimately he couldn't do that. The 61 year old is definitely leaving. He said that the club owe uh, Lowell a debt of gratitude for his unique and transformative contribution to the Glasgow side. He also highlighted the number of Premier League offers he rejected throughout his tenure. Uh, Neil Lennon, the Celtic manager, will be speaking later today. That's at around one o'clock, so stay tuned for that. We'll bring you all of the latest. He, of course, was hired twice by Lowell. Uh, in the last two decades. be interesting to see how this affects his future. There's been plenty of clamour for Lennon to be replaced, but he has been backed by Lowell. Perhaps now he'll get until the end of the season, until the new man comes in. The new man, uh, Mackay, will decide what he wants to do and how to go forward from there at the start of June. Let's hear a little bit about Mackay himself. Uh, Lowell called him the perfect successor with high integrity. He's been at Scottish Rugby for 13 years. He's been their chief executive since 2015. He is a Celtic fan, and he said he could not turn down this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. There's plenty more to come on Dominic Mackay. Uh, we'll have that on the show later. But how will Lowell's time here be remembered? There's no getting away from the facts this season. There's been mounting fan pressure for initially Lennon to be sacked, but then for the board. Plenty of banners have been here for months, sacked the board, and much worse. Uh, of course, Law back Lennon, he kept him in. Uh, and his concern may be that this final year has tarnished two years of nearly unprecedented, unprecedented success. He's won 29 trophies in his time in charge. It's been 13 league titles, four trebles, and three times they reached the UEFA Champions League knockout stages. Who could forget some uh, stellar signings and sales as well? making millions for the club, the likes of Virgil van Dijk, Victor Wanyama, Fraser Forster, Kieran Tierney, even Jeremy Frimpong earlier this week. A shrewd business operator, Lowell always has been, and his big money sell-ons will be part of his legacy. But his concern may be that his legacy has been a bit tarnished. She'll hope not, and that Celtic fans can remember the nine in a row and all of the success that they've had. Make sure you stay tuned for much more. The football show at four o'clock today is going to be very big as we react to all of the news that Law is stepping down after 18 years in charge. There's plenty more going on in Scottish football, though. Most of it is based around transfers. The deadline day is coming just four days time now. What is going on down Celtic? Just behind me here are closing in on Preston centre-half Ben Davies. No official confirmation yet. We'll have to wait for that. There has been official confirmation, however, from Rangers. They've signed Jack Simpson, the Bournemouth left-footed central defender, 24-year-old. He made 35 appearances for the Cherries, scoring one goal. He will be joining in summer. Uh, midfielder Amandi Orfado is also set to join him, signing a free contract. That's not confirmed, but we're expecting that in the coming days. Jordan Jones is heading out of Ibrox. He is going to Middlesbrough on loan. Uh, what else is going on? Jason Cummings has made a return to Scottish football. He signed for Dundee uh, from Shrewsbury Town. Uh, he's always box office. It'll be interesting to see him in the championship where he always scores goals. Uh, what else? Well, we'll stay on Hibs, one of uh, the former clubs of Jason Cummings. They've had reported bids for Kevin Nisbet and Ryan Porteous. Now, we believe that the bid for Nisbet is from Birmingham City, around £2 million, whilst Porteous is £1 million from Millwall. Unlikely that these two will go through. We know how highly Hibs do rate these two players. And with Birmingham, they've also put in a bid for Aberdeen striker Sam Cosgrove, believed to also be £2 million. And that one is understood to be more likely to happen. Aberdeen, we know that they have that £5 million black hole uh, due to the coronavirus pandemic. They're likely to accept that offer. They accepted that offer in the summer from Gingomp, but Cosgrove rejected the move to the French side. Funza Ojo, 
has uh, left for Wigan on loan. Will the Dons bring in a striker if Cosgrove goes out? Perhaps it'll be Ross Stewart, the Ross County forward. They are interested in him. His contract's up in six months' time. And will Scott Wright move from the northeast down to Glasgow to join Rangers? He signed a pre-contract. There's so much going on, so much to talk about. Make sure you stay tuned to plzsoccer.com, our Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitters. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe whilst you are there. That's all from me at the moment. Thank you very much for tuning in. And make sure you join us on The Football Show at 4 o'clock when we react to the news that Peter Lowell, Chief Executive of Celtic, is stepping down after 18 years in charge.